Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I am giving you an updated, comprehensive tour of my not so luxurious minivan camper. I have a no build minivan and I do an annual tour of my van, but it's been about six months and I've changed some things. So I decided to do an update video. This is going to be a longer one. So grab a cocktail or a Coke or a coffee and let's get into it. Y'all just a few notes before we get started. There is my dog Winston. We have been doing van life for three years in a minivan. This is my second minivan. I previously had a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. This one is a 2018. So I have been doing YouTube for about two and a half years everything you see in my van and that I talk about, I have a video on on my channel. So please browse my channel if you have questions on specific items. And I will try to link in the description important ones like my toilet system, my sink, my bed, so you can get better insight into those because those seem to be popular and I get a lot of questions on them. Also in the description is my entire Amazon affiliate list. So anything that I purchased on Amazon, which is <laughs> most items in my van, is on that list. If you don't see it on the list, it's either no longer available or I didn't purchase it on Amazon. There are a couple of items on the list that aren't from Amazon, such as my foam pad uh, from Home Depot on my bed, but I'll get into those things a little bit later. So check out the rest of my videos if you're new and I have a lot of dog friendly items as well. So I'll try and point out things as we go. We are going to start the tour from the front of my van and work our way back. So let's dive in. All right, starting from the outside of my van, you do see that I have a rooftop box, which is 18 cubic feet. It recently broke. Uh, but it is fixed and holding on right now. I put all of my big items in my rooftop box, such as my shower tent, my chair, uh, Winston's playpen, a big outdoor rug, items for my awning, and things like that that I don't want taking up space in my van. This ramp is not for me. It's definitely for Winston. He is a 12-year-old chihuahua. Well, he's almost 12, um, and he cannot jump up into the van, so this ramp folds and I store it behind my fridge when I travel. But let's start up front. So this is Winston's travel seat. He likes to travel for the most part in the passenger seat. This bed has been incredible for him. It is Virgin Nest brand. And like I said, most things in here are purchased from Amazon. So if you can't find it on Amazon, I will mention that. Otherwise, just assume that it's from Amazon. This is my v 1500 flash speed. So this power station is specifically running my fridge. It's dedicated to running my fridge so I could run my fridge for three to four days without charging it up via solar. And then on the floor when I'm traveling, I keep water, a three gallon jug of water, plus a one gallon and anything else that I can fit down there. So it fits well and that's a good storage spot. On this window, you can see a bug screen. It is a stretchy bug screen, great for summer, so I can keep my windows open without bugs coming in. And I keep magnetic window curtains in the side here, but I'll show you those on the other side. Moving right along, this is a set power 20 liter fridge. It's pretty new. I got it just a couple months ago and I love it because you can open, you can put the lid either way to open. So in it, I can fit about four days worth of food and drinks. And then these are the meals that I eat. They are Home Chef fresh refrigerated meals. I purchased them at Fry's Marketplace and I cook them in my Hot Logic, which I will show you more of. So this fridge is awesome because I can also use that as a tabletop. As you can see, I do have floor space and I want to mention that I have all of the seats in my van. In my first minivan, I took all of the seats out, but I decided in this van to leave all of them in, which I plan on doing a video about that specifically. Here's my toilet, but it's also an ottoman or a seat. 
and this is my toilet system. Like I said, I have a dedicated video about that, but I essentially use a collapsible toilet with lumber pine pellets and a separate jug for urine. It's really sanitary, easy to clean up, nice and discreet in the ottoman. And then, like I said, I can sit on this and still have plenty of headroom, which is great. And right in here is where I keep my pine pellets. Over on the side of it, I have my hygiene items. So I have hand sanitizer, baby wipes, my toilet paper, and bleach to keep everything from smelling. And then I always keep a one gallon jug of water next to my bed. That's what I use to fill up Winston's bowl and my water. And then here's his little uh, Yeti. We use this for traveling in the front seat or for his water bowl in here. And I'm going to go back around the van on the outside and then we'll come back to the inside. This is the love of my life, Winston Arthur. He is my soulmate and my everything. He is 11 years old and turns 12 in September. This is 2023 if you're watching this video late. But I've had a playpen like this actually for five years. We started traveling in a Honda Fit many years ago. But I just keep a tapestry on the top for shade. Sometimes I'll take it off. If I have his playpen completely shaded, I will take it off to get more airflow. But he knows this is his safe spot and he is the most chill, relaxed, well-trained dog we have had quite the life together, huh kiddo? So in there he's laying on a, essentially a kennel pad with an outdoor bed and a towel. He is quite literally a happy camper. I use this super cozy Ozark Trail camping chair from Walmart. Uh, it's a $60 chair. I found it on clearance for $20. It's broken a few times, uh, so it has some extra screws in it, but it's great. I have a lot of little tables from Target that work great in my van. This one was only $5. I like to use it uh, for my lantern, decor, or even my tablet when maybe I'm watching my baseball game or my phone. So we have a very simple outdoor setup. And I also have a nine by 12 outdoor rug that I really like to use, especially in quartzite in the winter. Here is my trunk space. Not so luxurious, am I right? This three drawers is from Walmart, 20 bucks. In the top here, I keep random items, a banana that I need to eat, uh, trash bags. I have some of Winston's food, his non-rawhide dream bones. And I have my, um, oh yeah, his hip and joint from Woofs that he's on. He's very hack, very active, healthy boy. You can buy these, link in the description. This is my hot logic. This is what I cook those home chef meals in. I plug it into a power station that I will show you, and the meals take about an hour, but it's literally no cleanup. This is essentially a portable oven that you can cook leftovers, frozen, or refrigerated meals in. What's nice is that you can just set it and forget it, if you will. And it allows me to have a healthy, delicious meal without cooking, because I really hate cooking. So that is that. Now, I do cook sometimes, and in the middle here, if I can get my drawer open, well, okay, you get the point. I have like paper plates, uh, a couple pots, and my dishes, those type of things. This is for my hot logic if I have leftovers, so essentially dishes. And then in the bottom here, I have a lot of miscellaneous items, baby wipes, my sticky glue pads, I have socks batteries, hat, Ziploc bags. What else do I have in here? Oh yeah, I have my biodegradable trash bags, um, a fanny pack for when I go to the gym or if I go like on a hike or kayaking. So miscellaneous drawer in the bottom here. This is my laundry bag. And then on the side here is where I put two solar panels and my dish table, which I will show you. I will also show you what I have beneath that drawer. So as you can see, I have my third row single seat up, therefore I have recessed space in the bottom, and I will get to that. 
This metal shelf is from Lowe's. I purchased it from the store. I believe it was around $35. This is essentially my kitchen, my hygiene area, all of that sort of stuff. This hygiene caddy holds all of my shower items, my rinse-free bath sponges that I use to like shave my legs. I do shower every other day. So even in van life, I'm, I take my hygiene very seriously. So, you know, ibuprofen, dry shampoo, sunscreen, all of that is in here, my electric toothbrush. This is Winston's caddy up here. So his food, his dental treats, his hip and joint, his treats. So that is his little dedicated spot. Right here is my coffee bin. So I heat up my water in my little uh, tea kettle here, and then I just have a little cutting board. I have my utensils in here, my caribou coffee. So this is what I pull out to do my coffee. And then my little butane stove. This is a Gas One mini butane stove. Tremendous for cooking, boiling water. If I need to heat up water for my shower when it's cold outside, I just fill up my tea kettle boil it and add it to my shower water works great this is fantastic because i can literally use it on top of my refrigerator it's nice and small these hanging baskets have cooking utensils salt and pepper and then the other one has dish soap and a sponge these are actually from ikea i like this shelf because i can hang things on it um, <clears throat> very helpful here i keep shirts here I keep pants and shorts. I normally travel with about 10 days worth of clothes. I am about 80% of the time in my van, so I'm not full full time. So I'm able to do laundry and restock on clothes. Down here I have towels and washcloths, and then I have three towels right here for showering. I have a tier shelf right here next to my metal shelf. On the top I have a spray bottle of water water and vinegar for dishes and Clorox wipes, baby wipes. I have bug repellent, butane, and then on the bottom I keep items like my mouse repellent, lanterns, a little broom, binder clips for hanging stuff up, maintenance uh, items such as those. So this really has most of the things I use for van life. And then my clever bungee <laughs> is my uh, paper towel roll. This is what is underneath my three drawers. So this tub keeps things that I don't use on a regular basis. So I have a down blanket in there, more paper towels, a jump starter, laundry detergent, more paper plates, items like that that I just need to restock up on. And then I do keep two gallons of water right behind my shelf as well. And this is my bamboo folding table that I will show you once we get into the van. So since I do have my third row single seat up, it allows me to put something in the floor and it just really works out great. I keep the seat up because that is Winston's bed and I can sit in it as well. I only use solar to power my van. So that big one right there is a 200 watt van powers. I have a small one right there, it's a Rock Pals 100. I also have two other Yargo 100s and a Rofi 200 watt panel. So I have plenty of solar to keep me going. Now on this side, I keep two of my portable power stations. The Yargo 600 is what I use specifically for my Hot Logic that is dedicated to my Hot Logic only. This is my Rock Pals 300, one of my favorite power stations that I've had for years. I use it to charge up my electronics, my phone, my tablet, my Nintendo Switch, all of those good things. Here's another one of those tiered shelves. This is something that I use every single day. The top, I have my Bluetooth speaker, my tablet is charging. I hang my keys, a knife, and my walkie-talkie right here next to my bed. And here I have my USB light that I use for lighting and charging cords and then just like chapstick lotion and then my leveler so I can make sure that my van is level wherever I'm at. I keep my Rock Pals charging cord and my Jackery charging cord down here because I charge them in the plugs in the back of my van. And then let me show you what's in this. 
This is a CD case and inside of it I keep all of my charging cords um, labeled and I also keep instruction manuals in here for my electronics. So everything is nice and organized. I've been using this thing for three years and I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic little hack. I have these magnetic curtains that I actually started using on my Honda Fit. They simply attach to the inside of your vehicle. These are amazing. They're not completely blackout, but they work really well. So either I will use a screen like I have on my other door, or if I have the window rolled up all the way and I need a little bit more privacy, I will hang these magnetic curtains. And then in my driver's seat, I don't keep anything. In case of an emergency at night, I wanna make sure I can jump in my front seat and go. But I will often put, if I have like extra blankets or pillows, I will put those in the front seat. During this whole tour so far, Winston's just been chilling in his playpen because he's perfect. I will get to my shower and my water table, don't you guys worry. So let's get in the van and take a look. Now, yes, my van is always this clean. It's always this clean, it's always this tidy. I dedicate at least an hour a day to cleaning my van because it's my mobile home and that is very important to me. So I sit on my bed like this most of the time up against my orthopedic back pillow, which is great. Like I said, this is Winston's seat. I have a lot of decor in here. I'm kind of going for that gypsy caravan vibe. My tapestries are hung up with binder clips, which are these, and tacks. Tacks keep them from sagging. I have a lot of decor. The only thing that's sitting back here right now behind this tapestry whoop, is my small Jackery 240 power station. And I'm using that simply to run my fan this summer. It's a really good backup power station. And I use heat shield window coverings on all of my windows. They give me complete privacy and they are reflective. So they either keep my van much cooler in the summer or warmer in the winter. I have one on my back windshield as well. You can find those at heatshieldstore.com. Now my bed is a trifold memory foam mattress sitting on top of three inches of foam from Home Depot and a homemade bed platform. And I will put the link to that in the description. This is my bamboo folding table. It completely unfolds. and it has legs, it's hard to do with one hand, but I can use this table completely flat like this. I can put it on my floor, I can use it outside, whatever you need it for, it's a really great table. As you saw, I just keep it right on the side there. On this side, I keep another little folding table from Target, and then here you can see the other part of my shelf. Down next to my bed, I have this little organizer that keeps notebooks, books, tapestries, and my Nintendo Switch. Nothing crazy, but super organized. And then you can see the other view of my toilet and my hygiene stuff here. Since I sit right here, I have access to my fridge and like I said I can use it as a table and then I also have this USB fan that works great. And then of course this is my orthopedic back pillow that I sit up against. This exact one is no longer available on Amazon but I'll tell you what it's so comfortable. I can sit here for hours and a view of my bed. Here is the memory foam the regular foam, and then it's sitting on top of the homemade platform. Right behind my bed, I keep my lint roller and a little um, cordless vacuum. So these things are incredible for keeping your van clean. I use my lint roller every single day on my bed and on my floors to keep up with the dog hair. I also have this. This is two yards of black fabric with binder clips. I hang it, hang it up right there and right here. So I have a blackout curtain right here at night. 
When I wake up, it is pitch black in my van. It's amazing and inexpensive. I shower using a portable shower tent with a collapsible bucket and a battery powered shower. I love this pump because I have really long hair and this allows me to control the water. This is nice and high pressure. It's fantastic. So that is my shower. I will either put down this floor or I will use my outdoor rug. That way I'm not getting all like muddy and dirty while I'm trying to get clean. So the collapsible bucket and the shower also both go in my rooftop box uh, as well as my tent. I carry 10 gallons of water with me at all times. This is one of my three gallon water jugs. I have it sitting in the sun to warm up to take my shower later. But in the winter, like I said earlier, I will warm up water on my stove to add to my shower. And I use about, for a full shower where I'm washing my hair, I will use about two and a half gallons. If I'm not washing my hair, I will use about one and a half gallons. Like I said, I carry 10 gallons of water with me at all times. Here is my other three gallon water jug. And this is my electric water dispenser, so I have running water. This is my sink that I made from the Dollar Tree. It's essentially a strainer to catch solids. As you can see, there's some chicken in there from Winston's breakfast. And a bucket, like I said, both are from the Dollar Tree. And then I can just simply empty out the bucket when I need to clean my sink. The aluminum foldable table is what goes next to my drawer system. You can purchase them on Amazon, but I actually got mine at Walmart. And then this is my dish shelf that I purchased from Target. Another great $5 find. Since I am not full time in my van, I don't need to carry like winter clothes and that sort of thing. But if I did, because I was going on a longer trip, which I have before, Winston and I have been on three cross country road trips, just the two of us, I have plenty of space to put that stuff in my rooftop box. So I even have things up there like a waterproof blanket, my, um, my tool bag, all sorts of stuff, cones, you know, just miscellaneous items that I may or may not need that don't need to actually be inside my minivan camper. Forgive my hair right now. Do not judge me. It's like 85 degrees out. <laughs> but I am based in Arizona. So we have lots of Bureau of Land Management land, which is free to camp at, and tons of national forests. So that's where I'm at right now. Most of my camping is boondocking. It's free. It's easy. I like it. Um, I rarely camp at campgrounds anymore. I used to use a lot more campgrounds when I would travel the country and essentially go east of Texas. But being on the West Coast, there's so much free land that there's really no point in going to a campground, especially because I like to have solitude. I like Winston to be able to, you know, be off leash, not have to worry about other dogs or people. So this works out great. And since I have solar in my portable power stations, I don't need to hook up at a campground. And I go into town about every three to four days, depending on the situation. I'll dump trash, I'll fill my water, I'll get groceries, and that routine works out really well for us. To stay cool in the summer, I travel with the elevation. I've been living in Arizona for the last 24 years, and I decided to actually stay in the state this year. So I spent my summer, or I've been spending my summer, in northern Arizona at the elevation of about 7,000 feet. So it is, it rarely gets over 90 degrees, and we're about to drop back down into the 70s. In the winter, I go out to Quartzsite, Arizona, where we get 70s during the day. The coldest it gets is like 55, maybe. Um, so this is the first year of van life. I've decided to stay put in Arizona to save on cost because I am on a budget. Now, if I'm not set up like this and I don't have like my shower tent or I'm not at a campground, I do have a Planet Fitness membership and I will use that to shower. Um, you can also use travel centers or truck stops, but my Planet Fitness membership mixed with my portable shower is their great solutions. I think I covered everything from 
carrying 10 gallons of water to how I power all of my electronics. Um, oh, something else I forgot to mention, I do keep leveling blocks in my rooftop box in case I'm at a really cool campsite, but it's not level and I need to get level. I have Verizon cell service for my cell phone and my tablet and my internet. I spend about $135 a month to have unlimited everything. And since I am 35 and I need to work and upload videos and all that sort of thing, I only camp at spots where I have cell service, unless for some reason I'm at a campground with Wi-Fi. And just a reminder, I have videos about everything in my van, from my toilet system to my internet process, my bed platform, dog-friendly information, my entire shower setup and how I go about that, as well as my solar panel reviews, power station, all of those things. So please browse my channel if you are interested. I know this tour has gotten a bit long, but I wanted to really go in depth and give you a comprehensive insight. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this updated tour as of the end of August 2023. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and interested in budget-friendly van life, especially with a dog, and we will see you next time.